In this video, we reveal California's 2025 discoveries. Wildfire resilience, lithium beneath the salt and sea, secret solar experiments, forest renewal, Alzheimer's breakthroughs, and bold climate policies. From blazing mountains to cutting edge labs, California's science reshapes resilience and risk. Are these discoveries signs of crisis or a roadmap to the future? Don't look away, because what's emerging in California could redefine the world's next chapter. Wildfires are burning out of control in Southern California. California. California's largest lake has the world's biggest concentration of lithium in geothermal brine. California, a name that conjures images of golden coastlines, sprawling metropolises, sunlit vineyards, and the promise of innovation, stands as a testament to the relentless pursuit of discovery. From the roaring cliffs and icy surf of Big Sur to the sun-bleached heart of the Central Valley, every corner of this vast state carries its own unique story. But beneath the familiar surface of Hollywood dreams and Silicon Valley breakthroughs, mysteries and monumental scientific quests unfold, shaping not only the destiny of California, but the potential future of humanity itself. What vital secrets are researchers uncovering in California's deserts, forests, and labs even now? And how do the fires and shifting landscapes that rock this state fuel the march of scientific advancement? Today, we dive into recent compelling discoveries reverberating across California. From the struggle against explosive wildfires to behind-the-scenes climate experiments, the race to unlock lithium below the Salton Sea, new frontiers in medicine, and the ever-shifting landscape of policy-driven climate innovation. Each revelation interweaves human persistence, natural challenge, and transformative insight. Beyond the sun-kissed beaches and movie sets, what challenges and discoveries await in the depths of California? What truths might shift our understanding of the world waiting to be revealed? Are we at the edge of breakthrough or are the greatest discoveries yet to be uncovered? Wildfire, resilience, and the science of survival. Every summer, California braces for the onslaught, walls of searing heat, bone-dry winds racing through canyons, and a landscape ready to ignite. While officials and scientists reported a relatively mild season thus far, the certainty of the wildfire threat still hangs heavy. Fires can flare with little warning as the land grows drier and the heat persists late into the year. A dramatic chapter now unfolds in the mountains of Central California, where the Gifford Fire, an explosive blaze, has burned over 80,000 acres. Firefighters and scientists have joined forces, exchanging expertise and real-time data as flames scorch forests, race through dense shrublands, and send vast plumes of smoke into the sky. The numbers are staggering. Thousands of personnel mobilized, hundreds of vehicles deployed, and a combination of technologies, old and new, pressed into action. Yet at the heart of each wildfire lies not just disaster, but a crucible for discovery and innovation, stories of teamwork and resolve, innovation under fire, and untold acts of courage deep within chaos. Supporting these efforts, the Governor's Wildfire and Forest Resilience Task Force took center stage, issuing a list of 25 key deliverables aimed at reinforcing California's fire defense strategies. These initiatives are the result of data-driven analyses and observation combined with centuries-old land knowledge adapted for today's climate challenges. Efforts range from creating aerial firefighting fleets new, capable aircraft, programs training thousands of community fire guards, giving residents resources to create defensible spaces and manage fuel buildup before it becomes dangerous. California's distinct geography shapes its fire risk and response. Ridges and canyons channel winds and accumulate fuel, while human settlements thread through vulnerable landscapes. Each year, scientists scrutinize satellite imagery, monitor fuel moisture, and debate the role of evolving weather patterns. Even as the Gifford fire rages, field teams collect data on wind, embers, and ignition points, building a detailed, evolving model of the state's fire ecology. Battling wildfire in California demands fusion of tradition and modernity. Indigenous fire practices, once suppressed, are now guiding policies. Carefully planned prescribed burns restore the natural cycle of growth and renewal and provide crucial fire breaks. Digital mapping and overlays of historical burn scars help predict where future blazes may erupt. Remote monitoring 
monitoring stations track temperature and humidity from strategic vantage points, while artificial intelligence digests streams of historical data to bolster both rapid response and long-term planning. Research into California's escalating fire season goes beyond the front lines. In laboratories, atmospheric scientists investigate why are fire seasons lengthening, what thresholds loom as global temperatures rise. AI-based modeling and decades of wildfire data are marshaled in hopes of revealing patterns that could underpin more effective prevention strategies. The very destruction wrought by fires may ultimately hold the seeds of resilience and adaptation for generations ahead. One question endures, sparking both curiosity and caution. What innovations and what unforeseen complications may emerge from California's persistent dance with wildfire? Perhaps the state's ceaseless struggle with fire will teach lessons still waiting to be fully understood. Lithium beneath the Salton Sea, a buried treasure, a high-stakes gamble. Amid the raw silence and stark beauty of southeastern California's desert, where open salt flats ripple to the horizon and the Salton Sea sits as a shimmering anomaly, a new resource rush has begun. A modern scramble, not for gold, but for lithium, the white gold, essential to batteries and renewable energy. The recent discovery of a massive lithium deposit beneath the Salton Sea has jolted the energy and technology sectors. Industry leaders have implied this might be America's greatest chance to lead in lithium supply, transforming energy production, storage, and the burgeoning electric vehicle market. Engineers, investors, and policymakers are now in a race to unlock this vast mineral resource. Lithium extraction at the Salton Sea is uniquely challenging and intertwined with California's history. The Salton Sea itself was created by a 1905 flood, and its briny waters are saturated with minerals left behind by evaporation and geothermal flows. Nearly a century later, geothermal plants harness subterranean brine for energy, while researchers and engineers explore processes to separate valuable lithium from the same fluids. With an eye toward environmental sustainability, the region's extraction methods now center on direct lithium extraction, a promising technology designed to minimize environmental disruption. The process aims to efficiently extract lithium and return spent brine to its deep reservoir, lessening surface impacts and reducing hazardous waste. But every drop of water and grain of mineral in this fragile ecosystem system is carefully scrutinized. Environmentalists point out the Salton Sea's declining water levels, increasing dust, and threats to bird habitats and agriculture. Local communities who have long lived in the shadows of environmental neglect now seek greater engagement and benefit from the potential lithium boom. With so many interests at play, pressing questions arise. Can lithium be mined in a way that supports clean energy goals without compounding existing health and environmental challenges? Environmental stewards, community Community advocates and engineers all seek a path forward that balances progress with stewardship. The stakes are profound. Each shipment of lithium from the Salton Sea could be a step toward energy independence and technological advancement, not only for California, but for the entire country. Yet with this new hope comes a puzzle. Can California's goals for renewable innovation coexist the needs and rights of local people and ecosystems already stretched thin? Shadows Over the Sun, the clandestine solar experiment. California, state of sunshine and solar leadership now faces an unexpected controversy. A test of technology to block sunlight, solar geoengineering, conducted without required notification to state officials. According to hundreds of documents recently surfaced, a group of researchers conducted an experimental trial aimed at diminishing solar rays, part of a growing field studying whether intentionally altering Earth's reflectivity could cool rising planetary temperatures. The technology known as solar radiation management is hotly debated and fraught with ethical and scientific questions. This small-scale trial was carried out in California outside the knowledge of key regulatory authorities meant to safeguard the public and environment. Why pursue technology to dim the sun? With carbon emissions climbing and climate extremes mounting, some scientists see solar geoengineering as a possible, though controversial, insurance policy by increasing the Earth's reflectivity even briefly. 
global temperatures could theoretically be reduced. Yet such interventions come with unpredictable risks, ranging from regional weather shifts to broader ecological impacts. The fact that researchers bypassed official notification has ignited debate about trust, transparency, and the limits of unchecked science. Crucial details about the experiment, what substances were used, how much, and what effects were measured remain guarded. What is clear is the growing concern among ethicists, environmentalists, and lawmakers. Experiments with geoengineering, even at small scale, can have unknown and far-reaching repercussions. Without public debate and thorough oversight, the risks could outweigh the hoped-for benefits. Calls have mounted for stricter regulation and even outright bans on field-based geoengineering experiments. Some advocate for global treaties to ensure public accountability, while others suggest rigorous, transparent research is too urgent to stop as climate threats escalate. For now, California's experience with this unannounced experiment raises fundamental questions. Should humanity attempt to engineer Earth's largest natural systems? Who benefits and who pays the price if such interventions go awry? Is this an act of hope or hubris? The answers remain uncertain, but the conversation in California and beyond has only just begun. In the Land of Giants, the Campaign for Forest Protection and Renewal from the mist-shrouded redwoods of the north to the high, fire-adapted forests of the Sierra, California's trees represent both wild splendor and ecological power. Yet these forests face mounting threats, intensifying wildfires, disease, drought, and human encroachment. In recent years, efforts have multiplied to defend and restore these living giants. The California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, CDCR, has taken proactive measures to safeguard wildlands by conducting conducting enforcement sweeps for contraband through specially modified field operations. These actions serve the dual aim of protecting public safety and upholding the health and integrity of California's forests, reducing risks of illegal activity that could spark greater ecological harm. Enhancing these enforcement efforts is the work of the Governor's Wildfire and Forest Resilience Task Force. Through a coordinated approach, the task force has detailed 25 key actions, ranging from wildfire risk reduction and new firefighting technologies to broad integration of indigenous and community-based forest management techniques. Controlled burns, selective thinning, and restoration of native species are now blended with high-tech conservation, drone surveillance, digital fire risk mapping, and real-time air quality monitoring. Innovation fused with tradition is the strategy. Indigenous prescribed burns, once discouraged, are now seen as crucial, helping return fire to its balancing role in forest health. At experimental forestry sites, biologists replant native flora to support displaced wildlife, and fire historians study fire scars in ancient trees to reconstruct natural burn cycles. Education forms another pillar of this renewal. Youth and community-based programs teach the science and art of modern forest care alongside traditional techniques through collaboration with tribal nations, scientists, and local stewards. California aims to foster shared guardianship of both forest health and cultural legacy. Still, the challenge is immense. Each enforcement suite and restoration program uncovers hidden complexities, social, ecological, and historical. The fight for forest safety resonates across broader questions of climate resilience, biodiversity protection, and the rights of communities to shape their landscapes. Ultimately, Ultimately, the future of California's forests may rest on renewal, melding deep-rooted wisdom with new tools and harnessing the collective will to defend what is irreplaceable. Guardians of Health – Breakthroughs in the Fight Against Alzheimer's and Beyond California's spirit of discovery reaches far beyond the land into the realm of human health. In hospitals and research labs, a relentless effort is underway to unravel the mysteries of Alzheimer's disease and other chronic illnesses. In July 2025, a new study signaled hope in the fight against Alzheimer's. Two FDA-approved cancer drugs were shown to reverse gene expression patterns associated with the disease. Researchers, including teams from UC San Diego Health Sciences, are at the forefront of this innovative approach, investigating ways to disrupt the molecular pathways that underlie memory loss and neurodegeneration. The principle at the heart of this breakthrough is gene expression, how the essence of our DNA is switched on and off to govern cellular activity. By using existing cancer medications, scientists found a means to reverse gene expression changes that may contribute to the development of Alzheimer's. The discovery raises cautious optimism. Could drugs 
developed for one devastating illness be repurposed to stall, halt, or even reverse another? Early findings are promising, but researchers emphasize that clinical implications remain to be seen. Questions about long-term safety, effectiveness at different stages of Alzheimer's, and the potential for side effects are still under investigation. But the approach, which connects cancer biology and neurodegeneration, underlines the power of cross-disciplinary research and drug repurposing, opening the door to future therapies for age-related cognitive decline. Across California, medical innovation blooms in many directions. UC San Diego and partnering institutions are mapping the intricate human microbiome, developing immunotherapies to teach the immune system to recognize and destroy malignancies, and harnessing AI-enhanced imaging for earlier and more accurate diagnoses. Statewide clinical trials connect diverse populations, ensuring new treatments reflect and serve the variety of people who call California home. Collaborative living labs now unite patients, clinicians, and researchers in pursuit of therapies shaped by real-world need. With its wealth of talent and diversity, California continues to push the frontiers of medical science, proving that every answer sparks new questions, but each innovation brings us closer to solutions that could help millions. Defining Tomorrow, the wave of policy and innovation. California stands again at a critical juncture where science, public action, and governance converge to confront environmental and social challenges. As 2025 unfolds, the state is set to enact major developments in policy addressing climate change, environmental contaminants, and the concept of product stewardship at unprecedented scale. A new generation of frameworks and standards is being introduced, targeting air and water quality, managing the risks of environmental contaminants, including newly emerging chemicals of concern and promoting climate resilience. These efforts span both mobile and stationary sources of pollution, affecting industries, urban centers, and rural communities alike. Each new regulation demands adaptation. Industries must innovate, communities recalibrate, and research institutions rise to new challenges. California's approach to product stewardship, a vision where goods are designed, produced, and used with minimal waste and environmental impact, signals a shift from disposable culture to one prioritizing sustainability and the circular economy. State policies are now also driving landscape restoration, urban water savings, heat reduction in cities, and preparedness for disasters. These laws are designed not only to mitigate harm, but to foster climate resilience, economic fairness, and community engagement with scientific research informing every step. California's leadership extends beyond its borders. Other states and even national agencies look to its pilot programs in emissions trading, drought-resistant crops, and new monitoring systems for environmental hazards. The world watches as the state links science, strict regulation, and determined investment in building a sustainable, equitable future. Through policy, California tests the boundaries of what it means for society to respond to a changing world. It will take time to see whether new laws, technologies, and strategies tip the balance in the fight against climate and environmental crisis. What is certain is the enduring call for rigorous science, robust democracy, and public accountability. The Unceasing River, California's Tides of Discovery as dawn breaks over California, a landscape woven from sunlight, resolve, risk, and rebirth, the pulse of discovery carries on. From mountains marked by wildfire to the lithium-laced basin of the Salton Sea, from laboratories filled with light to the ancient living forests, each story is both a triumph and a question mark. Will the hard-won lessons from fire, drought, and restoration yield the wisdom to stave off the next disaster? Can buried resources be unlocked without deepening wounds among people and ecosystems? Is is the search for planetary fixes like geoengineering a leap toward hope or a drift toward unknown hazards? And as new drugs and policy breakthroughs transform health and society, will we uncover a better tomorrow or only find deeper mysteries waiting to be unraveled? California continues, as always, to astound and provoke its discoveries a warning and a beacon, illuminating perils, but also the astonishing possibility of human ingenuity, courage, and care. What inspires you most about California's unending search for 
for answers. The endurance of those who face flames and floods, the audacity behind medical advances and climate solutions, or the conviction that every trial and breakthrough brings us closer to understanding something great, hidden just outside our current site. Share your questions and hopes in the comments below. Together, let's keep searching, learning, and uncovering the wonders of California, one discovery at a time. Subscribe and turn on notifications to journey further, because in California, the greatest story is always still unfolding.